I'm Dr. Bill Lahneman. I'm an associate professor at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida in the United States. So my experience is in um, Homeland Security where I primarily study intelligence and uh, conflict resolution because uh, previously I was a naval officer for 20 years in the United States Navy. You know, in, from a U.S. perspective, courses in intelligence analysis were almost non-existent before the 9-11 attacks. Since then, everyone's realized the vital need to be tracking not just state actors, you know, like North Korea, let's say, but also transnational groups like the Al-Qaeda terrorist network because of the kind of harm they can do, and Spain certainly is aware as well. So um, at the university, I contribute to the master's program, which uh, seeks to educate and train um, future professional intelligence analysts. And I think it's uh, very appropriate for university to do that. It emphasizes primarily critical thinking, as well as other important aspects of the intelligence profession, such as briefing and uh, writing and so forth. And uh, I believe it's an emerging discipline. It's not just for use by governments, it's also by use in many businesses, any competitive enterprise that needs to have that uh, knowledge dominance over its competitors. I've been running uh, this principal simulation here at the university for about four years now. So we think that by increasing the number of simulations and exercises that we can add to these intelligence analysis programs, we're increasing the quality of the education considerably. So the simulation puts them in the role of intelligence analysts leading up to the war with Iraq, and they get to wrestle with the uncertainty of the information that was available. So it becomes like a real concept to them as opposed to something the professor is just telling them in class. The important part of a simulation is that students play roles. They play active roles in real time. They don't say an analyst would do this. They just do it. They are in the role. I think this program is a leader in uh, innovative approaches to teaching working professionals how to become first-rate intelligence analysts, whether it's in business or for government. And I think it is because of their international approach, and I guess I would call it their multimedia approach. So you have your lectures, you have seminars, the more traditional approach, but you have the simulations you have the games, you have the exercises where you put students in the actual roles and let them experience, you know, and come to understand what's going on in the intelligence profession. And I think it's um, really a world leader in, in innovative educational techniques and interactive educational techniques. Well, actually, I'm making my program more like it, but it doesn't approach uh, the breadth and uh, diversity of this program. So it's something I hope to uh, copy, actually.